Hi, I'm Lisa Wallen with Directional Learning. And today, guess what we're going to be doing? We're going to be putting letters in alphabetical order. So you're going to teach your student the sequence of that. So I welcome you, teacher and parents, to the teacher-parent edition. So now make sure that your student at least watched the videos on our YouTube channel one time, one through seven. And now, before you start this lesson of putting them in alphabetical order or teaching the student the sequence, make sure that you practice with them the sorting letters. So get your directional columns out, call the sound, and have the student put the wooden letters in the directional columns for sorting letters. Make sure they repeat the sound too. Then you're ready to start teaching them how to put the letters in alphabetical order. Now it's time to start writing our letters down this line here. Now, if you have it laminated, you can give the student the laminated copy to write on, or you can have simply a whiteboard if you like. What I like to do is I like to give them a ruler and have them make the directional columns, and then I have them label it left and right and with appropriate numbers one and three. Now this middle here, we don't really need it because we know that this is the middle. And because we need all the space to write, I just simply delete this and just remind them that this is the middle or the number two. And so I tell them how we're gonna play the game. I tell them, remember all those letters that we learned? Well, now we're gonna put them in sequence. We're gonna put them in alphabetical order. And we're not gonna sing the ABC song to get the order. We're gonna actually use their sounds, ah, or the apple on a stick character. So we're only using their short sounds. So the first letter I'm gonna call because we're doing it in alphabetical order, remember, is ah, ah, ah. And that's my apple on the stick. And you just call the sound out and have them write it. So I would say the first sound is ah, my apple on the stick. Remember, that cat comes by and he breaks your stick and you cry like a baby, ah, ah, ah. So it should look something like that. Now, if it doesn't, you can basically build it and have them make the letter. Say, after that cat comes by and breaks your stick, now what you do is you chase that cat down the tall, tall building, see the tall, tall building, and you bounce back up by the red reptile tree to the bouncy bed, ba, ba, ba. Remind them what their lips are doing. And you can also tell them, this is what I like to do, I like to simply show them that the red reptile tree is in this letter. Do you see it? So if you just tell them the red reptile tree is in this letter, it gives them a reminder to make it like that. Now, if they wanna make their letter with uh, a different way, like maybe they wanna go down and then around, have them correct it so that they see that the red reptile tree is in this letter and that it points towards the red reptile tree. So if we get them in the habit of making the letter this way, it'll be different from the other tricky letters. So just say the story as they make it. You chase that cat down the tall, tall building. You bounce back up by the red reptile tree to the bouncy bed, ba, ba, ba. Now, you want, the next letter you wanna tell, tell them is our climbing cat. Guess what happens when you chase that cat down the tall, tall building and you bounce back up to your bouncy bed? That cat, he jumps out your window. So this is your window, this is your bed. And if you notice, this is the tall, tall building here. So this is this part of the building. And over here, this right here is that cat that jumps, this is your window, remember? Jumps out your window and his tongue is stuck out like the one lefty dragon. And he's the climbing cat. So, k -k -k. so then you have them make the climbing cat. See how the story is progressing? So our next letter is our digging dog because what guess what happens after that cat jumps out your window then that your digging dog he's your pet he jumps out your window he's after that cat he's after that apple so see okay so first so what i like to tell them is when we're making the digging dog remember he's after that apple so the first thing you do is you make the apple notice how we're making it different from the tall, tall building, and then his tongue goes up. So you make the apple first. See how we made the apple? And then you make the digging dog's tongue go up because remember, he's after that cat, he's after that apple. And what I like to do is I like to show them that there is an apple in 
the digging dog. Let's see if we can stretch this out to make it fit. So do you see? If you tell them to make the apple first, then make his tongue go up. Now some of the students, what really helps is when I bring out the wooden letters and actually put it in there. So then I say first we make the apple and then the second sequence, sometimes this is really helpful for them, is we simply make the tall tall building. So I'll actually make the tall tall building or I'll bring out the wooden letter for that. So first we make the apple and then the wooden letter. It should be taller so let's make it a little bit taller. You can kind of see the difference, right? So kind of showing them both letters are in there is really helpful for the digging dog sometimes. So that's all you need to do. And then guess what happens? After your digging dog jumps out your window, you have a poster in your room. Remember this is your bedroom and this is your window. And guess who jumps off your poster? A big animal. The elephant jumps out your window. So let's build them. So the elephant jumps out your window. Trunk hits the building, right? And then he goes after that cat. Eh, eh, eh. And does his baby sound. Eh, eh, eh. So notice how his tongue is sticking out. So that elephant jumps out your window. Hits his trunk on the building. And then he goes after that cat with his tongue stuck out. Eh, eh, eh. And our next letter we're going to build is... After that happens, you hear a flapping sound in the wind. It's the f, f, f. It's your favorite candy cane. F, f, f. So you can build the favorite candy cane and then give it a ribbon. And remember, if the ribbon was hitting in the wind or soaring in the wind, you would hear a flapping sound. F, f, f. Okay, and then guess, this is your favorite candy cane. Guess who comes by and eats your candy cane? The gulping goat. Ga, ga, ga. So, and that goat, remember, he's after the apple, so make the apple first, and then he gives you a smirk or a smile. Ga, ga, ga. Notice how the apple was in this letter too? So, there's an apple in that letter as well. And then, after that goat eats your candy and it gives you a smirk, then you chase him down the tall, tall building. So you chase him down the tall, tall building. You bounce back up by the red reptile tree over that hill. You're so tired because <sighs> you ran down the hill. So do you see you ran down that tall, tall building? You bounce back up by the red reptile tree over that hill. <sighs> Notice that the red reptile tree is in that letter. Let me see if I can make this letter go in front. There it is. So let's try it now. Notice how the red reptile tree is in that letter. And notice how our sequence is telling a story too. I want to give you a couple more suggestions before we move for any further on these four letters here. This letter here, when you make the sound, your lips do come together. Ba, ba. But ask them, do you feel a burst of air when you make that sound like your lips are popping? Ba, ba. Bah. That's kind of helpful when they're trying to figure out what sound they're hearing between these two letters here. So I'll tell them that. Bah. You hear that? You feel that burst of air when you make that sound? Okay, something else with the climbing cat. If they're having problems making the apple, climbing cat, and the digging dog, then I change it on them. And for the climbing cat, I don't, I still make them a climbing cat, but not on the building like this. I will change it up for them like this. I just simply make them climb like that. So that when they move to the digging dog and the apple, it's the same motion. And that seems to correct it for most of them. So if they're having problems making the apple, the cat and the digging dog make everything like this, like a climbing cat on the building like this. I call this, this is, I think of this as his claw and there's a claw there and he's kind of climbing up the side of the building, kind of like the apple, the digging dog. And that seems to make sense. So you can change that on them. Remember, give them what they need. Okay, and so that's that. The digging dog too, if they don't like making it like the apple like this, then you can simply 
have them make it like this. I just tell them the digging dog, okay, the digging dog, he likes to chase cats because dogs like to chase cats. So you make the cat first and then he goes up the building and there you go. There's a digging dog. So you make him chase the cat and then he just goes up the building. You take the apple out if they don't like it. So that would be the next way that you could show them if they didn't like making the digging dog like this. But it's important to make the bouncy bed and the digging dog different, different strokes. So I always say you can start it off like the apple, like we did here, or you can start it off as the digging dog's chasing the cat and then he goes up the building. Makes sense? And as you go up the building, your tongue is going up the building. And something else too, you can tell them, your tongue, like especially those, especially the ones that say they don't feel their tongue touching the top of their roof of their mouth, tell them that it's bouncing. It's making a bouncing motion as they say the duh, duh, duh. It's a bouncy motion and maybe they'll feel that instead. Okay, so the next way I would teach them how to make is the elephant. Oh, before we move on to the digging dog, some like it in pieces. So you can say the digging dog, he chases that cat and then he goes up the building. Now let's backtrack for this one here. You can show them in different pieces. Some need it broken down into multiple pieces. You can say that this digging dog, he chases the cat, then the apple, see the pieces, and then he goes up the building. You can show them with wooden letters like that, that it's kind of all pieced together. So first, the digging dog, he chases the cat, then he goes after the apple, right? Because that's this line here. He breaks the stick and then he goes up, whoops, he goes up the building. You can show them in three pieces like that. And once you show them in three pieces, for some, it just fits together for them. Then they know how to design it. Okay, now we're moving on to the elephant. Okay, the elephant, let me erase these. The elephant is tricky sometimes. I teach like this, it hits the building, but some, it's just too much direction. So you can say, you can put the elephant's trunk to bed. So you start on one side and you move to the three side, put him to bed, then he goes after that cat. Eh, eh, eh. This is an easy way too to teach him. One more little trick I wanna show you is the bouncy bed. The bouncy bed is our tricky letter. It's like our, uh, our digging dog letter very much like so except for the circles are on opposite sides or the half circles are on opposite sides so another way you can tell them is this letter is very much like our letter the hill watch I'll make the hill and it has a red reptile tree in it and it's a hill notice that our bouncy bed is very much similar to it and I just kind of show them I'll say watch you go down the building then I start to make the hill then I just change it into the bouncy bed. That right there is very helpful for, for some, for some, where you take out the circle for them. You take out that direction and you just say it's like another letter, like the hill. And a lot of times this right here clicks for them. I have some students, it just clicks for them. When you tell them you make the bouncy bed like the hill, you start it off like the hill, you gotta go down. And there's even a red reptile tree in that letter. And then instead of making the hill, you make the bouncy bed. There you go. So you can try that with your students too. Okay, so now that I taught you some of our tricks, now we're gonna move on. So now think that you just ran that hill and after running that hill, you may smell icky and you see the Indian elephant looking at you. So you make his eye and you make his trunk and to remember his sound. Remember, you just ran the hill. He's looking at you. So he takes his trunk and he sprays you off. You would, you would think that was icky. So the sound is i, i, i. So that's the next letter, i, i, i. And remember, you heard the sound. So if you heard the sound, give him an eyeball looking at you, i, i, i. The next letter we're gonna make it has a dot at the top, but its dot is a hat. Can you guess what it is? It's the joking joker. So give him a hat. And that joking joker, guess what? He saw you. 
get sprayed by the Indian elephant. So he gives you a smirk. Ja, ja, ja. So that's the next sound. Ja, ja, ja. Our next sound after that, if this is the joking joker, our next sound is k, k, k. It's the king. And that joking joker, he smiles at you. Then you play him cards in the tall, tall building. And you say, crown me king, give me legs. And you walk on off like a king, king, king. K, k, k. The next sound is look back, look back. Oh, 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 city lights. So do you see you walk on off like a king, king, king. Then you look on back, see? And you see the next letter. And you see the city lights. Oh, oh, oh. So can you make that? Oh, oh, oh. So now you're in the city. Guess where you're at next? Now you're in the mountains. Mm, mm, mm. And remember, you can make that two ways. You decide which way you want to make it. You can make it like that, or you can make it go towards the red reptile tree. Mm, mm, mm. Our next letter is, if this is a big mountain, biggest mountain wins, we have a little mountain, and our little mountain looks like this. Mm, mm, mm. Like a red reptile tree, and then turn it into a mountain, a little mountain. And guess what? After you went through the little mountain, now, guess what you see? At the bottom, you see an apple. So, let's build the apple. So, you bite into the apple, and it turns out to be a rock. Now you're at the dentist. Ah, ah, ah. Then, ahoy me, mates. I see a palace. She goes down the elevator, up the elevator, towards the red reptile tree. And she turns the lights on with her pink, pink lips. Pa, pa, pa. Pa, pa, pa. Then, who lives by the palace? Hmm, it's our queen. And guess what? Our queen, she's holding the apple. So you make the apple and then give her a dancing leg towards the red reptile tree. And her sound is qua, qua, qua. So we just made the queen and guess, see her dancing leg? She dances on over towards the red reptile tree. Ra, ra, ra. So that's our next letter we're gonna make is our red reptile tree. So, ra, ra, ra. And then guess who slithers down the tree? It's Slimy the snake. S -s -s -s. So, he sli slides on down. Or slithers on down. And remember, to make Slimy the snake, we make the cat. And then an upside down cat. And a sound is s -s -s -s. And remember, this is the red reptile tree, so our next reptile is Tommy the turtle. So, to make Tommy the turtle, turtle, make the tall, tall building, and then a sleepy line. You can say, you can put him to sleep. T -t -t -t. And remember, turtles are around. T -t -t -t. So, our next letter is round. And he has a nose. Can you guess what he is? It's a, uh, a, uh, a. Uh. Make his nose. A, a, a. You heard his sound, so give him two eyes. Uh, uh, uh. The next one, the next one is pointy. This guy's round. So the next guy has a point and it's a beak. So, and remember, you can make it like that or you can make it in the middle if you like. And then our next letter is, if this is one bird with a beak, the next one has two beaks, two birds that came together. So build it and design it. Wah, wah, wah. There's one beak and there's another beak. And that's our watch out letter. So we say watch out for their sharp bee scissors. Kss, 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 kss. So give them scissors. Kss, kss, kss. And after that one, remember the scissors. So remember, yeah, got a haircut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So give them a haircut. And the last one is it's seven o'clock. Let's do the seven. Time to get to bed and dream about our sounds. Z -z -z -z. Did you notice our letters all have a story so that we can remember the next letter? So they'll get familiar with the story. So when you call out the sound in alphabetical order, make sure you tell them the story. 
and call it by the letter sound so that they can link the sounds and they should be linking the sounds and you can call them by their characters too. One other suggestion, when you're calling out the sounds and the characters, you can incorporate the hand movements for the students and the students can incorporate the hand movements too. And remember, if you're working with an older student, you could just have them label with just the letters and the numbers. They don't need the pictures. Remember, every student's different, so just give them what they need. Also, I wanted to let you know, if the student is having a hard time writing just on this line, maybe they're making the bump over here for the apple on the stick or the queen, then if they're younger students, I would suggest that you stop and do story picture writing with them. That's writing on the capital L building because the capital L building, that's what this is. This is the building here. And this over here is our window. So notice how the queen is sticking her tongue out the window. You can tell older kids that. They don't need to do the story picture writing. Notice how the up guy, well, this isn't his tongue, but notice that he's on the on the window side, this is the window side over here. And that's really helpful for them. And you could say the same thing if this was the apple on the stick, it's out the window. Notice the bump is pointing this way, out the window. This is the window out here. Now for the younger kids, then you wanna do uh, story picture writing on the capital L building. We would have them write the letters right on the capital L building with, with, the, with the story and guess what? When they write on the capital L building, this is the window here. So the queen would be sticking her, her tongue out the window. And same with our other characters. So this is very helpful. So if they're having a hard time with this, then stop and do story picture writing with them. And for the older students, you can just remind them this is the window. And for instance, this is the bump, so the queen is sticking her tongue out the window. This side is the window. So now that you've learned how to put letters in alphabetical order, now it's time to move your student to picture writing. So we thank you for watching Directional Learning, and we can't wait to teach you more.